Hello. In this video, I want to quickly show you how to edit a document based on APA. However, you should know that there are much more to APA than what I am talking about here. So basically, you should pay attention to more and read the, the uh, online sources more about uh, APA and what is the philosophy behind it. However, uh, let's have a look at this document and see that what are the problems with it. First of all, the cover page is not APA. Uh, looking at the uh, text, you can see that basically it has not been, uh, it is not left aligned. The numbers sometimes are like the font sizes are big. The type, the font sizes, the font type is not uh, APA. The distance between the um, lines is not uh, double. There is an extra space between the uh, paragraphs and also uh, when it comes to references, I can see clearly that's not APA style. So the, to begin with this, the first thing that I should do is I push Control A before everything else. And then I go and choose Times New Roman and I choose Font Type 12 and then I go to this part to put everything to double space and then I go to paragraph. In the paragraph, this part, I push this. Here I do two things. First of all is um, uh, I go here to spacing before and after I put everything to zero and I push OK. Then what other thing that I can do is, except for references, which has different indentation, I select everything else here. And what I do is uh, I put an indentation. How do I put an indentation? I go to paragraph again, one more time. And here you say indentation after the text. Uh, indentation in this special. You basically go here and it says like first line by 1.27, which is half an inch, and then you push OK. And basically, this is uh, totally based on APA right now. So let's go to uh, our cover page to see that what is wrong with the cover page. So what is a cover page uh, like? What, what should it look like when it comes to um, uh, APA? How should I know that? Basically, I can go and search online and to see that what is a cover page for APA. You can find something like this. See, there is a running head, and the running head is all caps lock. It's a short title, which is only 50 character or less. And the title of the page, your name, your university, and also the author note. You see that how these things will um, be here. So first of all, I have some um, stuff which is made by uh, the uh, insert page, cover page. I go here and say I remove the cover, the cover page. It removes that. And then I, I add a page here. Before that, I basically use the page brick. And uh, if I write something down here, it brings me again to this page. So I also add another page brick here. So basically, uh, I can begin to write here. And uh, then I can go back one page. So I write the title of the, uh, the, the paper, which is Social Penetration Theory. So penetration should be with double with one T. And then uh, this is my name, for example, John Smith, and the University of fix whatever. So then I will have author note, which will be uh, John Smith is a 
uh, is an uh, an a student at the Department of Communication, uh, University of yeah, University of X. Is like contact email or just email will be John Smith at student dot x dot edu. So this is what I'm going to do because it's the first page. Everything should be. Uh, in the basically centered here, then I use a couple of caps lock up to this part is fine, and then a little bit of more, it's like below the middle of the sentences. That's fine, basically. I assume that now it is a fine and a good one. The next thing is that you need uh, headers for your text. So for the header, what I do, I push it like this, and then uh, it brings me. So double click on the upside of the page. It will bring you into header one more time. Double click on the text. Uh, you will be. Bring you here. Double click on the upside or downside, bring you to the header or footer. What you should do here is that basically you will need different first page. So push this, different first page. And then insert page number. For example, at the uh, top of the page and choose this one at the beginning. And then have something like that, running head and this and then say for example social penetration theory this title here should be all in capital so I select it here I go to home and I make it all caps lock just like any other thing in your text, it should be Times Roman, size 12. This is your page number. Your page number should basically be on the left right side of your page. So you have this. For the rest of the paper, basically, uh, again, what you should do is to repeat this. But this time, instead of having a, a running head, you just have the uh, so again, you insert the page number. Sorry, uh, insert page number. And then you copy paste this here. Again, everything should be Times New Roman size 12. And then using the tab key, you do it a couple of times and it goes to the other side. So you see that we have different headings here. Here the heading says running head, social penetration theory, and then it says like social penetration theory. And double click on the text brings us here. Now we are fine so far. Then going to the text, you see that it is uh, basically justified in terms of like the alignment. It is wrong. It shouldn't be like that. I just uh, basically select everything like that I have. go the other way and 
everything we should we have should be like left aligned like this so it shouldn't be justified like this it should be left aligned it's very important don't forget that so I don't need an abstract for this assignment I delete this and then it brings us to the uh, headings and how to select our headings for the text so how should I know that what types of headings I should use so basically I go here and I uh, to and I search headings for APA I have a very good uh, combination of headings here it says like your first level of heading and they are all times new roman types uh, size 12 okay so basically it says like your first level uh, is uh, center bold bold face upper and lower case heading just like this you see this is your heading it is uh, centered you see that it is not here or here it is at the center it is bold face you see that this is not bold face this is bold face you see it's bold and it is upper and lower case so you see that each word is uh, capitalized except for and or if those things but each word is capitalized yes in capital word and the rest the the initial letter the rest of it is in uh, lower case However, this one, it is lowercase, like except for the first, very first letter, the rest of it is all in uh, lowercase. This one is all in lowercase. This one is in uh, lowercase and in um, uppercase. You should pay attention to do things here also. So let's see that what is happening here. The first uh, headline the first level is the first headline that you begin with so this is this one should basically should be centered and as you can see that it should be um, bold face upper and lower case heading like this one social penetration theory the same but let's say that uh, social penetration theory has different topics under it. For example, it has disclosure and stages and uh, uh, social penetration theory and those things. They are all uh, the second level means that they are all different parts of this topic. So this is the first level because it's not it, it does not link to any other topics in the paper, but uh, self disclosure and social uh, and stages in social penetration theory they are parts of this topic so they became the second level so here for the second level uh, basically you can see that it should be left aligned to the bold face upper and lower case heading so it is just like this but it is left aligned so I push it left aligned and by left aligned means totally to the end to the left you see so there is no indentation for this one this one has an indentation there is no indentation for this one or for this one so this is the headings yes the other things that i will look at it you know do you remember that i push the spaces between the paragraphs to zero here so it means that if you have an extra space here it means that you have pushed an extra inter you should not push that you should remove all of these spaces you see i can see this space here i can see this space here this space here all of these things should be removed you should not have that space there and let's say that this is also a second level for any reason of course it's not the right way of doing so but let's say for any reason you have uh, this as the third layer means that for example let's say this topic and this topic are different parts of uh, this uh, topic different parts of it 
which means that this is the second layer, if you remember, this is the second level. So these things become the third level. For the third, uh, third level, it should be uh, indented half a, uh, like half an inch. It should be bold face and lower case with a period. So let's see. It should be indented. Yes, it is indented for uh, half a half an inch. It should be lowercase, so except for the first letter, the rest of it should be lowercase. So I go here and I put lowercase. And there should be a period at the end, because it is the third level. I do the same for this one. So except for the first letter, I put everything to lowercase and put a here and also I have this part here and yes uh, there is a problem here is because this student when uh, was writing that made the indentation using a tab key see for example now I will push tab see it just brings everything to a, one step to, to the left don't use tab, just use these uh, thing, these uh, indentation here, so uh, and it will fix your text. Or you can use these um, uh, keys here. It will all, they are also very helpful. Now this is the third level. And then it is conclusion. Conclusion is basically usually the first level. So what, where should I put it? Basically, I should put it uh, in the center, like this. And this is bold face. And this is uh, only one word. But if there are other words here, they will also be the you know, like uh, the first letter capital. And uh, you see here again, I have extra space, I remove all of these spaces and I go to the reference, reference again should be uh, centered, it is the first level, and uh, it should be bold, yes, so this is the references. Now, one more thing that's very important here is that some, some, sometimes students like, oh, this just like a heading here and this heading is uh, all the way at this part so what should I do with that well I think that you shouldn't do anything like you shouldn't put it next page just because you don't like it to be left alone here just leave it the way that it is one thing and then going through this you see that this is the second level yes these are all topics which are at the uh, at the uh, different levels, uh, like one level below these things. So this is wrong. Basically, if there is a heading here, the way that it is, you should put that heading uh, into the form of a uh, proper heading. So uh, you go here, and basically you choose it, and uh, you Times New Roman, and that it that should be bold face and it should come with a dot at the end. So one thing to make the things easier for me, I choose it and then I usually use this format painter and I do the same for all of the things. If you push it twice, it will remain effective or until uh, the further notice. And I push a, I put a period after each one of them. Yeah. I usually don't like this much of a space here, so I. Uh, so you can. Uh, uh, so it is indented for uh, half an inch. It should only be indented half an inch. So basically, one thing that you can do is to remove these numbers. And why 
am I doing this? Because I know that the first page, like all of the things, should be basically uh, indented for half an inch, and that's it. So it is only this. This is uh, the this topic that should be half an inch indented, and that's it. So I don't need any extra. Uh, spaces here. Uh, I don't need to put numbers here because it's already telling me that these things are headings type 12 and that's a type uh, 3 and that's uh, the, o the only thing that I need for this part. So basically uh, instead of using 1, 2, 3, 4 bullet points and those things you use heading in the proper way to tell other people that this part is different parts of this. So it is very important and it brings uh, coherence to, to the text. The next important thing is citations. So let's go through the citations of these students and you see that basically citations, this one is perfect, it's Griffin 2009 and then the period is after the paragraph, the, the parenthesis which is nice, this one the same, Altman the same, it's very good that according to Schaeffer, then the name is here and then the year in the parentheses, which is fine. And one more thing, when you have two people in, inside the text, you should use and if they are in the parentheses, if you say like according to Altman and Taylor, just like the way that it is, they are outside of the parentheses, then you use AND, you write down AND actually instead of this sign. And it just goes like that all the way, and there is not a much of a problem here. I do not see any problem uh, in the text. So I now let's go to the references. The first thing that in the references that I see is a problem is that while here, yeah, this indentation should only be half an inch. So all of these indentations are problematic here. Now, yeah, I can see all of these indentation problematic because they have been put there using tab. And that's not a nice way of doing that. Why you see that we have like indentation here means the first line is indented. Here the second line should be indented. We call this hanging things. So I, I choose them. I go to paragraph again. And for this one, I use hanging. And I say that by half an inch it should be hanging. And if you push them, basically, you should go to hanging. And if it didn't work like that, you can use your, uh, uh, basically, you can use uh, your ruler here. Just push these things uh, for about of, uh, and they should work basically. So let's go through them one by one to see that what is a problem with them. So first of all I remove any extra space here. So when you write down the uh, source references, each one of them has its own characteristics. For example, this one is a book. So for the book, it's the total book. You should remember that the net title of the book is always in lower cases, what we call sentence case. So the first letter is uh, in capital, the rest of it is in small. And also the title is basically uh, italic and that's it that's for this part let's zoom it a little bit and go for the next part this one is an internet source so basically what I should do is do this and you see that uh, this part oh now I see what is the problem with this so basically This is left aligned and this is okay. 
So we will go through the rest of it together. So this is uh, uh, this is an internet address. So as long as possible, it continues here. So it brings the rest of it to this part. So yeah. So the next part is this one. This one is again an internet address. See that uh, because the address is still one, it cannot fit all of it into one line, so it has to break it in a point. So just using backspace, I can create these effects here. This one is a um, academic sources. For example, this is from an, a journal, and I know this because looking at this, I can look. I can see that's the name of a journal, and this is the the page number issue and so on. So the problem here is the uh, name of the uh, article should not be italic. It's um, just in uh, the, the opposing way to the book. Uh, but here is the title of the journal which comes just before this issue number should be italic. Again, I, I can go back a couple of like backspace and then it makes it in the right way for me. This one basically is a another uh, journal. So uh, again, this one should be in italic. And yeah, you can see that using a couple of backspace, it fixes it for me. This one is from an internet source. See. Uh, that's fine, and the title should be italic. Here, the title should be italic, and the title should be italic. As far as I remember, you can check these internet things to select the internet pages should be italic or not. I can't remember exactly, but that's as far as I remember they were italic. But I should check it myself each time. And this one. This one is a book again. So social penetration theory, social networking, and Facebook, basically. I put it italic, and then what's happening here, it should be all uh, sentence case, like the first letter uh, is capital, the rest of it should be all in lowercase. Let me make it lower. Instead of Facebook, because it's a proper name, so it should be always capital letter. So uh, if it is a book, basically, uh, before you as you need the name of the place. Fairfield University is, uh, um, let's say, in New York State. So basically, you uh, you you do like Fairfield, and then say NY. If it is in the United States, you need to name of the city and the state. If it is outside of the United States, you need the name of the city and country. And this one is a journal for sure. So self-disclosure in Tennessee. So the name of the journal should be in italic. And here you see a problem. You know, it's a uh, spelling problem. You you should not fix the spelling problems of the titles and so and stuff like that. They, you should just write them down the way that they are, and that's it. For the title of the journals, the issue should also be capital. For example, this one should be capital, and because there are the number of the issue, the, the the number of the volume, they should also be capital. To find more information about this, basically, you need to go to the website and see that how you should cite the different sources. So here is a very brief. Um, discussion of how you should uh, basically uh, edit something according to APA. Uh, it's very important to make sure that uh, you are always fine with it. Some very small tips. 
uh, when you um, s put these things in center, like the headings in center and so on, make sure that your ruler is basically all the way to the right. So there is no indentation here, and out of the indentation you go to the center. Because uh, if you do not follow that, it will be a little bit toward the right side of the left, and that's an important thing. So again, this one, I need to make sure that all the things which are in the center are basically right in the center. This one is fine. So let me see if I have any other things in the center. I have these things and these things and see that they are in the center, so they are fine. Then I control S, that's it. I'm ready to go. I hope that this tutorial is helpful and um, basically you can um, write a very good thing for your final assignment or for assignment 3 before the final exam. Have a nice time and let me know if you have a question.